He has a cart full. See what he picked up. We're a husband and wife team, thrifting and picking. Sometimes we find the unusual, but if there's a profit to be made, we'll take it. And sometimes we just get darn lucky. So I hope you'll relax with us at some of our favorite places to visit. The treasures are just waiting to be found. Hi everyone, it's Debbie. I'm Martin. And we're on our way to our, whoa, <laughs> on some rough roads actually. We're on our way to our favorite thrift store. We're have a good time. We are going to find some treasures today. The treasure gods are going to shine brightly on us. <laughs> I certainly hope they do. Let's go ahead and see what we can find. Here Marty is going back to the new carts. In this video, we thrifted three stores over a couple of days. So sit back and relax as we treasure hunt, go over a haul, totals that include how much we paid and estimated profits, then relax with us at the end. And also be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. Enjoy the video. So in the media, I find a Holy Bible on cassette. I throw that into the cart because I want to check it out later. Right now, I just want to uh, get myself through the store so I can get things before other people get there. Uh, I stopped by the new cart bin, new bin carts and uh, looked through it and these plates just weren't quite doing it for me. Uh, the sell through wasn't very good. Um, and lo and behold, here comes another cart. So I started looking through that and grabbing a few odds and ends and it's like and oh my gosh get the stir or the silver plate or sterling silver whatever it is marty what are you doing so yeah i didn't get those i didn't get the fenton i i grabbed a mermaid so <laughs> uh these these bowls didn't have a good sell-through rate i put them in the cart but i put them back later i had high expectations on that mermaid but that didn't work out either so i had to put her back so he didn't get the Fenton and he didn't get the silver plate, but you know what? Next time we'll get something even better, right Marty? Right, right. Well, there's always something else around the corner. It's always a good idea to look through these bags of health and beauty aids. A few weeks ago, I found a bag like this that had some Chaz Dean hair supplies in it. Um, it we paid a dollar for it and you can see it sold for $64 right away. Into the electronics room I go, and I spy this crock pot sitting on the bottom of this cart. Uh, Debbie did some research, and these vintage crock pots can be pretty good money. Uh, this one, I just took a quick look at it and didn't want to fool with it. Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised on this because I thought, you know, crock pots, not too many people are buying those actually to resell. And lo and behold, some of these are worth a lot of money, so don't pass these up. The next thing that catches my eye is this antique collar holder. That looks like a razor. But it's a collar holder, look right there. Yes, it is. And uh, we figured this would take a little too much time for us to research and we just weren't really into it, so I put it back. It was a really cool piece though. One of the first things I always look at are their better handbags. And here you can see that I'm leaping through. I believe that was a Dooney and Burke. I really didn't see anything that I had to pick up to resell today. Oh, this is a vintage coach bag. I just was on the fence on that, so I ended up putting it back. Uh, this I did end up putting in my car. I've been looking for one of these for my patio at home and for the outside wall. And I thought that this would be really pretty out there, but uh, I just wasn't in the mood to get it at that particular time, so I put it back. Next, I'm looking through the jewelry here. Chunky link necklaces are very hot right now, so if you see these, you may want to pick them up. Next, I went over to the shoe area. You all are probably uh, becoming familiar with my routine in this particular thrift store. This is a pair of Torrid boots. They are a size nine. They do remind me of a combat boot. I did put those in the cart. You can see that this uh, thrift store has a pretty large uh, shoe section. Actually, they've sold quite a few pairs, it looks like. 
Next, I moved on to the accessories. And I always check this little corner for belts. This is a cow hair belt. And uh, the name on that is, I believe it's uh, pronounced Avignon. But anyway, I put that in my cart. And then right next to that are some wallets. I was excited to pick this one up, uh, Brahmin, and uh, put that in my cart. These are pretty quality pieces. And for a dollar, you can't go wrong. The haul portion of this video is coming up in a few minutes. I moved on to the men's accessories. Sometimes you can find some uh, hidden ladies accessories in there as well. But uh, I took a look at these uh, two vintage hats. Uh, this one's a NASCAR hat. Um, they were a little dirtier than I would have liked, so I ended up putting them back. I can pretty much tell where Marty's usually gonna be when I'm looking for him. And when I came up on him, he's got a pretty full cart here and looks like he's starting to check his comp. As you can see, this store is huge huge okay let's go ahead and move on to our next thrift store the next thrift store that we went to is the village discount thrift store another large as you can see there in the picture thrift store and uh, i looked at uh, this muu mu i guess is how you would pronounce it thought it was really cute the leather was extremely soft on this uh, this brand is made in Portugal, so I put that in my cart. Next, I spotted this sack bag. It is crocheted. It is tan in color. I like the size on it. And so I believe everything was half price today. So I went ahead and put that in my cart. In this section of media, I find an 8-track tapes. The only one I keep is a one by Pilot. It's an unusual recording. It should do well. Next, I find this Democracy sweater. It is lightweight. It has beautiful embroidery uh, insects on it, and I thought this was perfect for fall. Then we uh, go over to the hard goods, and I found this anthro anthropology rather uh, cup with the initial P on it. Definitely put that in our cart. Anthropology sells pretty good for us. Here's a picture of my cart. You can see some of the things that we picked up. It wasn't a lot, but uh, what we did picked up, I'm very, very happy with. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to our next thrift store and see what we can find. I pick up this Namaji Indian River Pottery Vase. This looks to be pretty good, and for a quarter, I can't pass it up. Now I find a set of nine um, Thomas Bavaria bread plates. It looks like it's got a gold dragonfly on it. These will do really well. Next, I find a place setting of Dansk. This is in the Mesa blue pattern. Dance items do very well for me. They have a great sell-through rate. Okay, coming up are a few things that for some reason we didn't get in the video, but are part of this thrift haul. I picked up this set of four Pier 1 uh, leather coasters. I really like the style of these. This is a bottle of Perlier Honey Meal Bath Shower Cream. This is a 13 inch Vista Allegra Portugal bowl. This is a very nice size. This is a Coleman propane slow cooker open box. For $15, this is a great buy. This is a Meccano erector set. It's a championship race car. This will be a great buy for someone for Christmas. This is a beautiful vintage silk pillow cover embroidered with birds and floral design. This is a pair of ladies G by Gauss sneakers with a snakeskin print size seven. This is an Ann Taylor sweater vest. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what we purchased and the value we hope to make.
total cost of goods is $73.80. The total estimated list price is $782. Now let's get these items sold so it can rain some money. It was a great couple of days. Here we are turning onto Main Street in Worcester, Ohio. Here you can see that it really is a quaint little town. And uh, a bonus clip, we're going to be going to a new thrift store and this thrift store is called Frendique and they it's a non-profit and what they do is all the don donations go to the hospice care in a couple surrounding counties here you can see that I'm looking at some porcelain I absolutely adore uh, Lalique or not Lalique but um, Limoges pieces and unfortunately we only had about 15 minutes to look around as they were closing here's some comps on one of these antique uh, morning wreaths and they did want a lot of money for that wreath but um, those are really great pieces to pick up if you find them and as you all know, I, I love anything with this gold encrusted rim on them. And they really do go for a great price. Uh, because of the time constraints, um, we actually forgot about those. Um, this bowl we did pick up though. I will put a comp on the, the screen to let you know approximately what we can get out of it. The comp is pink and has a slight variation, but I should be able to get about 35. They had everything displayed so beautifully. And here is another Limoges piece. Uh, it was not marked on the bottom Limoges, but uh, again, I can't wait to go back to this store, take another look around, take our time and come out with some great pieces. We then took a look at the textiles. They had some beautiful pillows and uh, uh, table linens and such. You can see that this is a, a really big store. Uh, I love this mid-century modern table with the blue porcelain on top. Again, uh, here is uh, a very unusual, I guess, center bowl. Um, you could use it in multiple places. It was from Ikea. They wanted $12. You could probably get about 28 out of that. Again, um, just some beautiful pillows. The orange tag here, and I'll put it on the screen, uh, it's Ohio law that all textiles have to be sanitized before they're sold. The colors on this vase caught my attention. Uh, a really pretty vase, but it was a, a new piece. Here we are walking down Main Street uh, to dinner, and the architecture on some of these old buildings are just fabulous. And here we are entering the Broken Rocks Cafe. We had crab cakes as an appetizer and uh, we love crab meat and let me tell you, they were excellent. I had to laugh on this one, poor Marty. He, he's like, just let me eat and stop recording. Here's the menu for the Broken Rocks, and I ended up having the artichoke shrimp pasta, and it was delicious. Marty here, he had uh, jambalaya, and we love the food in Nor New Orleans. So if you've not seen that video, I'll link it in the description. Well, the day is over, but it ended up being a great day. What do you say, honey? Yes, <clears throat> belly's full, tired. No, it was a really good day. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button if you did. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, the treasures are just waiting to be found. Until we see you next time, Marty and Debbie.